Hey, Royal Kids, it's me, Detective Santos, and I am so excited to see you guys today. Just kidding. It's me, Detective Aaron. Did you guys know that? Did I fool you guys? I hope I did, because my disguise was pretty, pretty good. But anyway, yes, I am so excited to see you guys today. I'm so excited we're here together, and I'm so excited to learn about something new in this series. And I actually have something really fun to share with you guys. I've been really excited about it because I'm just so excited today, okay? This weekend, you guys, I got a new toy. <gasps> and I want to share it with you guys. Can I show it to you? Is that okay? Actually, wait. I want you guys to guess what my new toy is, okay? You royal kids are going to be the detectives today, right now, at this very moment. Okay, I'm going to give you a few clues and see if you can guess what my new toy is. And it's something that I've wanted for a really long time, so I'm just really, really excited about it. So, first clue, royal kids. And I have the toy in front of me, but you can't see it. So, ha. Okay, first clue. First clue is, it's something that you can hold in your hand. Do you think you know it? Because if you do, you'd be really, really smart, okay? But here is clue number two. It is something that when you look through its lens, magnifies the image five times larger than what it really is. And clue number three is that it's a real tool that real live detectives use when they try to solve a case. Okay, rural kids, you have all three clues now. Can you guess what my new and brand new favorite toy is? If you think you know the answer, go ahead and yell it out. Wait, I said yell it out. Go louder. What do you think that my new toy is? Let's hear it. Oh my goodness. I heard a few of you say the correct answer. And if you guessed that my new favorite toy is a pair of glasses, you'd be wrong. But if you guessed that my new favorite toy is a magnifying glass, you'd be correct. Royal kids, I got this magnifying glass and I'm so excited because not only is it little and tiny, but it's red, my favorite color, and things become so much bigger when you look inside of it. So much bigger, in fact, oh my goodness, Caleb, is that a booger in your nose? Oh, I can see it from here. Oh, wow, this works super well. Even though it's so small, you guys, it makes a really, really big impact. And speaking of small things that make big impacts, I have a story to tell you guys about a girl in the Bible named Esther. She was about a teenager, so it means she was still young, but she made a really, really big impact. Esther was a young lady that loved God with all of her heart. She prayed to him and she would praise him every single day. Esther was beautiful inside and out, and so beautiful, in fact, that she caught the eye of the king. The king fell in love with her and made her his queen. And you would think that being queen would be really exciting and something that is really cool. But when Esther became queen, she faced a lot of challenges. The king's right-hand man had convinced the king to do something that wasn't so nice. He made a law against the Jewish people that wasn't very fair at all. And Esther didn't like that law because Esther herself was Jewish. Now, Esther could have stayed silent because it's really scary when you go against the king, but she chose to speak up. She chose to be bold and use her words for good. And because Esther used her voice and spoke up, she saved the Jewish people. Now, royal kids, we may face times in life where we have to make choices that seem impossible and seem really big and scary to make. But in Deuteronomy 31.6, in the Bible, it tells us that God is always on your side. He's with you. Nothing is too big or scary for him to handle. He will give you the courage to speak boldly, to speak truth, and to speak with authority. Because God is with you. When you speak, it will happen. Now, Royal Kids, let's pray together. Let's pray for God to give us strength and to give us courage to speak boldly and to stand up. Everyone, bow your heads, close your eyes. Dear God, we thank you for this time that we get to come together and just learn about amazing stories in the Bible. God, I pray just like Esther that you help us to be brave and to speak boldly. God, I pray you help every single world kid here speak with authority and let them know that you are always there with them. We thank you, Lord. We love you, Lord. And everybody in this room said, Amen. 
Now, Royal Kids, I actually have to get ready for my next mission where I am pretending to be Detective Santos. So, I will see you, Royal Kids, later. Goodbye. Vibe Worship Kids and stream it anytime from anywhere. Also available on iTunes and YouTube.